the movement must continue. See, we let it go to sleep. This movement's got to be woke up again. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Lunite Unite Louisville here at the Plug Network, the source, the Plug Network Online, the source for change. It's your girl Farron Kia, the CEO and founder of Love Thy Belly LLC, the premier body positive organization right here in the city of Louisville committed to the representation of fat and large bodies in multimedia forms. I have with me today a very special guest to send us out with a bang for Pride Month, or as he would say, with a bling, entrepreneur Shrugs. <laughs> hey, Shrugs. <laughs> hey, Frankie, what's going on? Good, how are you? I'm doing good, thank you. I'm excited, thank you for having me on here. Well, thank you so much for being a part of this. We appreciate it. I can't You're wait welcome. to learn all about who Shrugs is and what it is that you do. I called you an entrepreneur, but I know you wear so many more hats than that. Can you tell our viewers a little bit about yourself and it, what it is that you do? Sure, I surely can. So, um, you know, there when you said entrepreneur, um, I have um, coined myself as the entrepreneur extraordinaire. Period. Um, because I do uh, wear very many different hats. Um, um, for starters, I have um, a service-based company called PAB Management which um, we just celebrated eight years this past April, um, where I provide events and entertainment services, such as hosting, um, karaoke, trivia night, um, live entertainment. I do bookings for bands, and um, I also do small business coaching and manage creatives in that business um, as well. And then I also have um, a product-based business. My uh, jewelry company, Accessorize with Shrugs. This is one of my pieces that I'm wearing right here. Okay, it's the um, bling. Yes, yeah, the bling. Um, <coughs> excuse me. That company I actually um, started in honor of my sister who passed away in 2019. So I started the uh, jewelry business that year um, to honor her because she was a diva and absolutely loved the jewelry. So that was kind of my way to pay homage to her. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, that's kind of a little bit about me. Um. <laughs> and you know, and that was just you in like a really brief way. So let's take it back to PAB. What PAB management, what does PAB stand for? PAB actually is my initials. Okay. Philip <laughs> Anderson Baynard. Okay, put um, some respect on the name. Yes, indeed. So, um, yeah, I kind of came up with that uh, name because, you know, it was going to be, um, you know, what I was, my way of kind of sort of giving back to the, um, at the time, I was heavily involved in the uh, local music scene. And I'm still here and there sporadically on the local music scene, but um, the company just branched off into a lot more. But it ultimately started as... Um, me managing uh, hip hop artists. Um, and so it was my way of kind of giving back to the local music scene because I really saw a need for um, artists to have that business side, um, a little bit of assistance with the business side of their career. Um, and PAB was kind of, you know, my little catchphrase at the time. Like I always was like, PAB, hold it down. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah. And when did you say you started PAB management? PAB management started in 2015. Wow. Yes. So you've been in the game for a long time. I have been in the game for a long time. Yes. What would you say some of the ups of being in the game are? The the industry entertainment realm of, of the world? Um, The experiences that I've had. Um, I have seen and experienced so much um 
and have been in spaces that I would probably have never been in if I was not, um, you know, doing the things that I do. Like I've, you know, been to galas and stuff like that and played weddings and uh, balls and stuff like that. Um, I've sang in different, uh, on different stages, Hard Rock Cafe, um, Actors Theater. All of those are probably opportunities that I would not have um, come across <laughs> if I wasn't in the scene. So you yourself have essentially not only been really connected with a lot of different community sources, but you've become a community resource as as an ambassador, as a brand ambassador, as an entrepreneur, as a marketer. Yes, absolutely. I forgot about that. <laughs> um, another aspect of PAB management is um, my, my brand ambassador uh, service, where I um, do provide uh, some market marketing uh, coaching to businesses. Uh, I currently am representing Pop Culture Cakes, uh, which is a specialty dessert company um, spearheaded by my man, Samal. He is the head baker in charge. <laughs> um, Pop Culture Cakes is a company that bakes cakes in a soda can and they're infused with different soda flavors. Oh, wow. That sounds good. They are fire, and there's also alcohol infused ones as well. Period. Mm -hmm. You know, for my for my boozy folks out there, I like okay. how you said the head baker in charge puts a whole nother spin on a HBIC. Okay. Right. Right. <laughs> yeah. So, how long have you been doing your uh, brand management and brand ambassador? Um. So I've been with Pop Culture Cakes for about six months. Um. We did some work uh, last year as well, and then took took kind of a little break. And then he reached back out and was like, hey, man, I need you back. <laughs> um, okay. Um, and when I started working with them again this year, we tripled the sales. Um, so sales have been going great with that. Um, and prior to Pop Culture Cakes, you know, I had worked with a few different creatives um, with their marketing concepts as well. So I've been doing that off and on for a few years. Okay. It sounds like uh, something Love Thy Belly needs to tap into as well. Get us a Shrugs and Brand Ambassador collaboration going on. Come on with it. Come on with it. Let's go. What are some of the differences between being a brand ambassador and being an entrepreneur yourself? Um, I feel like with being a brand ambassador, I really have to take myself out of it and focus on the goals of the company and, um, in a sense, sell myself, but make sure that I'm still, you know, focusing on selling the product. A lot of times people kind of get lost in the sauce when it comes to shrugs and they're like, oh, okay, but uh, we're we talking about the cake right now. So let's, let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> they want a little more shrugs and a little less product. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much, shrugs. We'll come right back and learn a little bit more about what it is you have going on currently, because I know you are a busy, busy man. Yes, okay. <laughs> we'll be right back after these commercial breaks. All righty. The Plug Network is ever expanding. Subscribe to our YouTube page and hit the notification bell for all updates. Thank you and stay plugged in. If you're just tuning in, this is Lou Knight, Unite Louisville at the Plug Network Online, the source for change. I'm your girl, Farron Kia, the CEO and founder of Love That Belly. And I have my special guest host, the superstar of Super Shrugs. <laughs> the superstar of Super Business Shrugs. So you were uh, telling us a little bit about PAB management. In the beginning, you also mentioned that you have your own accessories line that you carry as well. Tell us a little uh, bit about what it is that Accessorize with Shrugs is. Okay, so Accessorize with Shrugs is um, a jewelry-based uh, business. I am, it's a, I'm an independent consultant through Paparazzi Accessories, and I offer 
affordable and fashionable jewelry such as this piece you see here this is like a a scarf type of necklace you can tie it different ways um so i offer affordable fashions i have five dollar jewelry and then also statement pieces for $25. Um, I do vendor events, uh, house parties, girls night, that type of thing. Um, and also if anyone is interested in starting their own jewelry business, I help them get started with that as well. How'd you get into that? So um, actually my friend, um, one of my close friends uh, used to be a consultant and she had been begging me and begging me and asking <laughs> me to, you know, get with the program. And I was like, no, 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 no. And then um, my sister passed away and I was looking for a way to um, kind of honor her and pay homage to, you know, her life. And she was a big like diva. She liked to dress up and wear, you know, jewelry and stuff like that. So, Figured I was like, okay, I'm gonna give this jewelry thing a try in honor my sister. That's beautiful. And how's that yeah. been for you? What's that experience been like? So, oh, well, actually, how long have you done that? It will be four years in December. Four years, in wow. In December, yeah. And what's that experience been like? Um, it's been it's been a whirlwind. Um, before I um, started this. Uh, before I started to sexualize the shrugs, I was not really like a a seller type of person. Like that was not my niche at all. Um, but I started with I started the jewelry, and then it just kind of took on like a life of its own, and it just became almost like second nature. And I love it so much. Like I didn't even really wear jewelry before. Um, and again, like that's uh, another opportunity that has allowed me to be in spaces that I probably would never been in if I didn't have like a product to sell. You know, I've been at um, grand openings for things, um, you know, vending at uh, different, uh, I was able to vend at, you know, Juneteenth, Juneteenth events and stuff like that. So it's, it's been great. So it's allowed you to really step into even more spaces than just being, not just, but then brand management has. You've been able to kind of be in different spaces that you might not have been in just as a brand manager during the, or with the entertainment field. Absolutely. That's amazing. Tell us a little bit about some of the events you've been able to do with Shrugs, with Accessorized with Shrugs. Yeah, sure. So um, just recently I vended at um, the Derby, Der I think it's called Derby Park Flea Market out on uh, 7th Street here in Louisville. The Derby City um, Flea Market? Yes. Yeah, or is yeah, it? What, yeah, it's that. Derby. Yeah, you were right. Derby Park Flea Market. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. That one. That one. <laughs> <laughs> um, I vended there um, two weekends in June, and um, it really was an eye-opening experience for me because I realized that I really need to learn a second language. <laughs> um, because you know, Louisville is a very diverse city to a certain extent, mm -hmm. and um, I found myself coming across a lot of people whose first language was not English. And I'm like, okay, you know, I want to be able to interact with these people. Um, so yeah, we're gonna start learning a couple of different languages, but um, that's- um, Okay, new goals. New goals, you feel me? <laughs> um, yeah, so that's the most recent place that I've vended at. Um, trying to think, what else? I do, I do so much, I just lose track. Like days are a blur. <laughs> and as I've, I've heard for entrepreneurs that sometimes the days just blend in together. Yes, yes. <laughs> Is it like that for you? It's definitely like that for me, especially <laughs> because like my sleep, like my sleeping habits are terrible. Um, I'm very much like a daytime sleeper. Like, I know I joke with you all the time. I was like, friend, I'm going to be in the bed at 9.30, child. <laughs> me, and I, will I, be. I, come, <laughs> I come alive at nighttime. Yes, so you do. I'm often up until like four. Well, for instance, last night, I mean, Wednesday nights are like my, 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 I call them my turn up nights. Uh -oh. So. I, <laughs> 
I go out and, you know, I try to hit a couple of different places in the city and, you know, check in on my peoples and show my face in places and, you know, just enjoy my friends and have a good time. Um, so and if so we want to like, catch shrugs out, it's definitely going to be on a Wednesday night. Facts. Facts. <laughs> um, and so, you know, I got home late and then by the time I was, you know, winding down and going to sleep and, you know, taking it on the phone, it's <laughs> light outside. <laughs> and the sun's okay. up. Yeah. So, yeah. So the days definitely are a blur. <laughs> so the flea market that you mentioned, that was a part of the 502 Black Business Week, correct? Yes. Um, it was uh, called the 502 Black Juneteenth Experience. Uh, T. Andre Robinson of T. Marie Consulting, who is the curator of 502 Black Business Week, she presented that opportunity for all the 502 Black Business Week participants um, to vend at the flea market. My camera is in and out on its own. That's freaking me out. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> Sorry. <okay. laughs> Sorry. Um, it's okay. Because I'm moving. Um, and so we had the opportunity to vend every weekend of the month of June, Saturday and Sunday, um, but child, me and the heat don't get along. So I didn't do okay. every weekend. That's okay. Plus I, <laughs> plus I was booked for a wedding one weekend and then one week and then the other weekend it rained. So technically, you know, it was, you know. So it was yeah. just a, but you were able to have a lot of opportunity as a black business owner to kind of interact with other black business owners. And like you mentioned, people who may not speak English as their first language. Correct. Yes. Wow. I bet that was an amazing experience. It was, it was, and it was just, you know, <laughs> I had my little phone out with my little Google Translate and stuff like that because those people wanted to buy. And a couple, and one lady who was Spanish speaking, she had her daughter with her. Her daughter may have been like six or seven, and she was translating for her, but she actually did make a purchase from me. Oh, wow. Well, what a beautiful mm -hmm. experience. When we come back, Shrugs, we'll talk a little bit more about all of the things that you currently have going on because... There is a full booked list of things. We'll be right back. Yes, all righty. The Plug Network is ever expanding. Subscribe to our YouTube page and hit the notification bell for all updates. Thank you and stay plugged in. Hey, Shrugs. Hey, Mary. <laughs> so when we left off, we were talking about the 502 Black Business Week. But I feel like we have something else 502 coming up. Can you tell we us a little do. bit about what you've got? <laughs> the first week of August will be 502 Black Fashion Week. And that is also curated by T. Andra of T. Marie Consulting. And she has trusted me with curating the kickoff event which will be a fashion show infused with live music. Holla! We love closing music, okay? Yes, we do. Um, so, yeah, that'll be August the 5th. Um, I would love to tell you all where the location is going to be, but unfortunately, our venue has burned down. <laughs> oh. um, so my executive assistant is working hard to find us a new location. Oh, wow. So anybody who's watching this episode right now, please, 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 if it, if you have a venue yourself or you know of a venue where the 502 Black Fashion Week kickoff event can happen, reach out to myself or Shrugs or T. Marie Consulting because, oh, I'm so sorry to hear about that. That is okay. Um, yeah, so I'm just trusting that the universe is going to work it out. And it will. Yeah. And it will. Yeah. Well, you know, That's although funny. we have that hiccup happening, and you know, I know you personally, so I know one stop's not going, one bump's not going to stop this show. Show sure ain't, <laughs> it show <sure> ain't. <laughs> so, other than the venue, can you tell us a little bit about what the Five Hundred Two Black Fashion Week has in store for us, specifically the kickoff event? Yes, I will. So, um, just a little bit of backstory about what the um, Five Hundred Two Black Fashion Week will be. Um, she's going to do. Um, 
25 businesses that are 25 clothing based businesses. So black clothing designers, fashion lines, boutiques, they'll have the opportunity to sign up for that week and gain exposure just like uh, the concept uh, worked for 502 Black Business Week. Um, and so the kickoff event specifically will feature um, some of those black clothing lines. Um, we've got Happy's Fashion Boutique. I have a young lady uh, by the name of Zanye who um, made, she made her own prom dress and her date's prom attire. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, so she's got some pieces coming in. I've got a couple of other designers on deck as well. And then we'll also have a few black vendors in the building as well. Um, I heard Love Thy Belly was going to be in the building. <laughs> Love Thy Belly is indeed going to be in the building, okay? Indeed, 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 indeed. Um, the stage talent is going to be amazing. I have Kivoko hey. and Darnie Craig and Rev the Choir and myself and Jaleesa Cookie Anderson are hosting along with Kiboko. He's gonna be on double duty MC and, and live music. Yes. Um, yes. So it's gonna be lit. This is gonna, this this sounds like a party. Oh, you now you know how I do. It, it's <laughs> always gonna be a party. <laughs> Everything with you is a really good time. Absolutely. Do you have anything else coming up? Any other events that you want to share? Yes. Um, uh, July 15th, um, myself and the head baker in charge, we are, <laughs> um, we are doing a family fun day. Um, oh, wow. It's going to be an outside event. We're going to have vendors and family-friendly games. Um, he's introducing a new product. Um, I can't tell y'all because it's a secret. Oh, no, ex no exclusives today. <laughs> it's a secret, but just imagine, um, just imagine a summertime treat Ooh. that will cool you down. Okay, summertime and the living's easy. All right, all right. Mm -hmm. Summertime, <laughs> hello, and the living is easy. <laughs> yes, I walked yes. you right into that one. You did. Um, <laughs> So, are you, so wait, are you going to be getting on the mic at any of these events you have coming up? Um, yes. Yeah, so on that event, at that event, July 15th, we will have karaoke. So myself, I'll be hosting along with my girl, Tab T. She is a Louisville-based story author. Um, shout out to Tab T. Um, yeah, so we'll both be on the mic. I'll be singing some stuff, cutting up, being my crazy self. Oh, so we, yeah, this is going to be a good time. Mm -hmm. All right, so we got the July 15th event, the August 10th event. Anything else you want us to know about? August 5th. Um, August 5th. Thank you. I think that is on the, every, uh, oh, I am somewhere July 8th that I'm doing um, a church picnic, something. I can't think of, that's, I can't think of the name of the church. Oops. That's okay. <laughs> that's okay. Well, yes. if anybody wants to follow you and follow, you know, your journey and everything you have going on, and maybe there's some events that they want to get linked into, how can somebody tap into Shrugs? Um, you can tap into me everywhere. <laughs> Facebook is Shrugs to you. Spell that out. Uh, shrugs, T-O-Y-O-U. And then um, everywhere else, TikTok, IG is Shrugs. And then the number two and the letter U. Um, but the easiest way really is to just go to AccessoriseWithShrugs.com and all things The Entrepreneur Extraordinaire are on the website. So I upload upcoming events. Um, you can book my services there. You can shop my jewelry there. You can send me a message. Um, yeah, so that's the easiest way. Okay, and just a quick recap. What are some of the services people can book you for? You can book me for uh, your karaoke host, your music host. I do not call myself a DJ because, mad respect to the DJs in the industry, I do not know how to do the little iri, iri, mixing <laughs> and all that. But I can okay. definitely curate to a dope playlist and talk smack on the mic. So that's why I call myself a music host. You can book me for that. Karaoke, trivia nights. Um, you can book me for your event. 
to help curate it, help coordinate it, help support you um, planning it out um, down to the execution of the day of, if you need help managing your stage talent, if you need to book live music, any of those things. If you need business coaching, uh, marketing strategies for your business, social media content, I got you covered on that as well. Yeah. All right. So it sounds like it's just a one-stop shop with you. We're working on being a one-stop shop. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Once again, thank you so much, Shrugs, for joining us today. And remember, if at any point in time you need any contact information, Shrugs, just look them up and get linked in. It's your girl, Farron Kia, the CEO and founder of Love Thy Belly LLC, here at the Plug Network Online, the source for change. Make sure you join us for our two-year anniversary next month. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. Bye, Shrugs. Bye. The Plug Network is ever expanding. Subscribe to our YouTube page and hit the notification bell for all updates. Thank you and stay plugged in.